Today we will do the method of understanding the equations of motion. We have done the basics of what are the symbols. Let's quickly go through them. In the equations of motion, there are three equations of motion in which we use few symbols. The first symbol which we use is S. Then we use U. Then there is V. Then T and A. These are the four symbols which are used in equation of motion. And these symbols are not difficult to understand. The meaning of S is distance. The meaning of U is initial velocity v is final velocity first understand remember the symbols then the equations will come easy t is the time and a is the acceleration Now these are the symbols which are used in uh, linear equation uh, and thus equations of motion and the equations of motion are three the three equations of motion are first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t the second equation of motion v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s and the third equation of motion s is equal to u t plus half a t square these are the three equations of motion which are commonly used and the meaning the symbols which are used in the equation are this v means the final velocity u means the initial velocity a is the acceleration and t is the time so the first equation second equation and third equation are used according to the question so let's quickly understand the distance used in the question will be given in meters so the SI unit of distance is meter. So you will be given distance covered by a body written in meter. Initial velocity which is the speed traveled by a body in the beginning is called initial in the beginning. So it is meter per second. And final is also meter per second. Time is seconds. And acceleration is meter per second square. Now the difference between distance mostly everyone understands. What is initial and final? Initial speed means the speed covered by a body in the beginning. And final is the speed which changes in the end. It is like you have started traveling from one place to two place, from one place to another place. In the beginning, your speed was 30 km per hour. After that, your speed became 60 km per hour. So 30 will be called initial and 60 will be called the final. That is final velocity. Time is simple. It is in second and acceleration is meter per second square, which is given in the questions. Now, what and how are these equations applied? The first equation as you can see is having velocity, initial velocity, acceleration in time. When is this equation used? This equation is used when these three, these four things are given. In this equation, what is not given? What is not given? Yes. So this equation cannot be used when the distance is not given. So either we will have to find the distance or we will have to use it when the distance is given to you. 
so this equation cannot be used when distance is not given this equation v square is equal to u square plus 2as is not used what is it not having it is not having t so this equation is used when we don't have time when we don't have to find time or we don't know time and the third equation is used when what is missing in this it has s also u also a also t also it does not have a final velocity so sometimes in most of the questions we use all the three equations in some questions we use one equation in some questions we use two equations and the application of the three equations of motion is very simple you have to just follow the question and understand how to apply it okay so uh, let's see one example the example is very important and it will help you to understand the basic of the equation it says that a body is a train is moving from place a and it goes to place b the train starts from rest and attains a velocity of 120 uh, or let's make it more 420 meter per second just roughly number so from rest means initial and it attains a speed means v so this initial speed is from rest so u will be zero and v is equal to 420 meter per second the train starts from rest and goes and attains a speed of 420 meter per second in a time of 10 seconds calculate the distance traveled in 10 seconds so to calculate the distance we will have to first find what is the acceleration and what is the distance so these are the three things given u is given v is given and t is given so u v and t are given and we have to find a now we have to select which equation we should use which equation you will use v is equal to u plus at v first equation second or third so we are seeing u is given t is given and v is given so we can use v u t and we can find a we will get the first answer so we will write v is equal to u plus a t the final velocity is 420 this is just a number roughly i thought of it u is 0 a is not given and t is 10 okay the train started from rest rest means initial speed was 0 and attained a speed of 420 in all these equation of motion the standard units have to be seen we have to use standard units meter meter per second uh, seconds and meter per second square so according to this equation we need a so a means our unit should come meter per second square so we are using the first equation v is equal to u plus at final velocity is 420 initial velocity is 0 a is not given and t is 10 so when you will solve it will become 420 0 will be finished so it will become 10 a 10 a means a is equal to this 10 will go down so 420 upon 10 which means the acceleration is equal to divide 42 and what will you write the unit unit is meter per second square so we have used the first equation and we have found a acceleration now according to this question we have got v also v was 420 meter per second u was 0 a we have found just now 42 
and we have got t also which is 10 second now we will see the first equation does not help us in finding s so how will you find s we can use this equation we can use this equation also so either you use this equation or you use this equation in both the equations if you will put these values you will get the same answer so it is not necessary to use a particular equation we can use any one of the second or third equation to find out what is s because the question says find the distance so if i use this equation it will become s is equal to ut so what was u u was 0 so 0 into t t is 10 so it will be 10 plus half into a into t square so what is a a was not given but we have found a is 42 so we have already got this value so into 42 into t square and t was 10 so it will be 10 square so s is equal to u into t plus half into a into 10 square this will become 0 this half into 42 into 10 square will become 2 will divide and it will become 21 into 100 so the distance which is s is equal to the distance covered will become 2100 meter SI unit is meter as we saw just now the meter is the SI unit of distance so we have got all the answers we have found u also v also t a and s so we have used the three equations and we have found the answer okay so revise this and if you have any doubt or any problem or any comment you can give your views below the video in the description and remaining more questions will continue in the next module so stay connected and subscribe the channel and press the notification see you in the next class goodbye